Hi, welcome back. Uh, we're just taking a slight pause to set our tire and get ready to go. Alright, so this is the start of our YouTube series. This will be part two of the Risen. Uh, well, it's past that number of parts. This is the second stream. Oh, a whole bunch of fine. Round two is a better. Uh... Round two. Okay. We're already calling the other things parts. Pardon me a moment while I get that sort of screen. Okay, here we go. I'm now sitting here with a tech decision. I can keep getting more some more core sector systems or cheaper war demands. Uh, I smell war brewing, and cheaper war demands sounds like a good idea. Hey, right. yep, cool. Stream's now just catching up with. Yep. Uh... Yeah, it just takes a minute. Okay, that's going to be on a slight delay. I have it set up like that. It um, is easier on the CPU. All right, here we go. I wasn't here. I'm gonna go look the first legion down here to do a little bit of what I'm gonna call a grounded pound scouting. Because these apparently hostile alien vessels up here are a tiny amount, and I just want to see what the hell they are. Because I don't remember. This is what happens when you take a couple days between streams. It's like, hmm, here's something. Yeah, here. you kind of forget what's what's been going on. Yeah, especially if you happening. test a couple so, um, stores. You want to scroll out a bit? And yeah, then... yeah, sure. I'll show what's up. Uh, we're a five. Uh, planet pile of rocks on the edge of space. Uh, we know of these guys. Uh, this is the fleshy, uh, egalitarian fanatic xenophiles we're next to. There are currently controllers of flages who just popped off, uh, who are apparently peaceful dictators. Popped off. Uh, they they were, just showed up to they you. They were uprisen. They showed to me. Oh, they're yeah. part of their... Yeah, they're an underling of them. Uh, oh. They uprose them. They uh, made them technologically progress. Oh, it was camera. an un-technological? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Probably. I don't know. It doesn't tell me that. Uh, we have our zero, zero 001 assemblers up here who are our only friend in the cold depths of space at the moment because they're they in the simulator are, and machines. Look at life. Yeah. Yep. They are, however, inferior to us. We could probably mess them up if we wanted to. Um, okay. And we have the Siphonid Republican Systems who are the assholes on the other side of them, who are hegemonic imperialists. We're probably going to clash sooner rather than later if we have to. And, of course, these guys were already beginning to start a little bit of border war with, and I would absolutely love to uh, take them over. So, we're going to set our constructions and things to uh, go about that process. Because more energy, more materials, it's just what you need. Yep, yep. Alright. Did me for that giant pile of minerals. Let's go over here. So, damn it, my point. Come on. <laughs> um, and there were a couple of anomalies that were yep. sort of like out and about. I've dealt with a couple of those, uh, not quite all of them. In the interim period that yep. that we just passed through mm -hmm. here? Okay. Yeah, uh, he sort of popped in and out of the room. So and that's what all those red dots or red explanation These points. red dots are alien vessels and systems, uh, so we know okay. it's, we don't want to go throw anything at them because you know, I know that's 4,000 fleet power in there. We only ah. got one and a half. That's going to be a bad time. But, you know, down here we think there's only 500, and so we could totally screw them up if they're the right kind of 500. So I'm going to just take a look, see what they are, and drop in the first legion on them. Hopefully we can mess them up real well, good. Um, and because you have this uh, wormholing, mm -hmm. you can pop to that system. I can pop that system without going system. through any of the middle things. Okay. Uh, warp drive can do that too, it's just the range on it is much lesser. Uh, FTLs can skip over the system. Okay, and now since we're here at the sort of the start of this round of mm -hmm. uh, stuff, um, and we're still in pause. Yeah, um, we're still in pause right now. You've picked up all your research. Mm -hmm. You we're sort of getting going on everything, and yeah. everything's sort of optimized um, at the moment. as much as you really care to optimize it. Uh, I can optimize some more stuff. But don't, yeah. no, 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 I didn't actually do that. <laughs> um, where do we see? You? Today's stream sort of going. Uh, today's stream, we're going to go from these pile of rocks to something that's actually galactically involved with everybody. Okay, we're probably so going to rush into mid game. I, the I, objective I, is we're going to have a little bit of conflict yeah. and we're, we're just driving to move towards the center of the galaxy. Yeah, quick dirty bird go with these couple of guys. Uh, whether it's us taking over these other robots, kind of want to. They're only friend right now, but they are inferior. We could easily mess them up. Or whether it's uh, dealing with these holdings dudes. I don't know who I want to screw up just yet. I'm just taking a look. Uh, these are those... Um, oh, mining... Mining drones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
cloud observation just because the thing off it's real good. The problem is these mining drones are holding up the entire system with 500 fleet power and I can't really uh, peacefully deal with them so I'm just gonna fuck them up. Should be pretty quick. Okay. Pretty easy. They only have 500 fleet power. We have three times that and they have no shields so bye. Real quick. Um, real was there another way to sort of go through this that you learn something, something? Oh no we already did that. Oh, okay. We already learned the thing off and we have their data so now we're just blowing them up okay. because they're in the way. Uh, they're in the way of us actually settling the system, which is a ways off sort because of it's not of inside your... of our thing, but we want to yeah. know what's here. Uh, because if there's good stuff here, I will more than happily build things in. That's being cleared out. I'm going to just take a quick look at that. There's a void cloud. They're another kind of AI enemy. Yeah. I'm just going to pour it on back, skip through these two uh, relays of wormholes, okay. and just see what's up. Again, you know, any questions, uh, I'll be managing sort of the stream is uh, Stuart Strat. Um, that's James Stuart Strat on, on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Primus here would be uh, sort of at the controls. I am. Um, he really knows how to play. I am a complete, totally well, a complete noob. noob. I've, I played sort of when the first the game first yeah. came out. Um, I haven't really played since. Once by myself and once oh, um, with a group of people. Mm -hmm. And I kind of forgot how to play. Um, the the general point is we're going to be getting things together um, and you know maybe working our way up to doing multiple plays um, or multiple Twitch streams. Not get just together, us, and get together, and, and you know do Solaris if this mm -hmm. is running well, and if this isn't, uh, it'll be something else. You know, else. we might shift into something else. Mm -hmm. We have other things on our sort of our stuff that we'll get to at the end of you know say. A little yeah. while in. A little later. Uh, um, so, so getting back to actually what's going on. All right, all right. We have an asteroid sighted. It's about to impact uh, Burrito Prime here. Oh, Burrito's one of the better ones. Yeah, Burrito is one of the better ones. Yeah. So we're going to have to call in the Legion, and hopefully we'll get here in time to screw up the asteroid and save the planet. Okay. It was very slow. Like, this so, is a rock tumbling through space. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know. I was going to say, how did the, somebody get here? And it's, it's like, it's oh, a no, rock. it's a natural. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ooh, cool. Uh, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take the research uh, for uh, self-evolving logic where we get plus one research alternative. So we'll add a fourth uh, one. More options bottom. to choose between. Uh, the reason why we have a fourth one down here is because we already technically started down this because we scavenged the technology off those mining drones. Ooh. I said it certainly cool. should be cool. cool. Yep. Just quick and dirty little things. And I'm going to send the science ship off to the frontier to do the science thing. Fucking star. We're running two science ships. Two science ships, two construction ships. Yeah. Yeah, and you get them to still work on the oh, construction yeah. ships? Okay. I've got uh, enough of a region down here off of Rito settling that uh, we have enough things for those. Okay. Dogs are now. That means it's going to be another hop. I think we're going to save Rito here. Hope so. It would be really embarrassing. So if it hits, it. is Rito gone? Yeah. Not much. Okay. Or just unhabitable? Uh, uh yeah, the, the settlement on it is, is screwed, and the habitation is going to be severely impacted. Okay, cool. But the good news is we blew it up, so we have, now we have 1,000 minerals. Because we blew up an asteroid. Okay. We mined it, ostensibly. Very forcefully? Yeah. Very forcefully. <laughs> so we have 1,000 minerals all at once. Which is kind of nice. Go here. And yeah, these these sorts of uh, stops and delays in the videos, it's because we're trying to make them better for uh, being able to be put up to YouTube. So I apologize in advance if it's ever annoying on Twitch. On Twitch. Um, Not and good. you know, Not the good. YouTube stream seems to be picking up pretty good here. You know, we have we certainly have views in both places. Mm -hmm. um, so we we're happy to continue the series and sort of let people in, investigate. Oh yeah. Um, and at a point, probably in the nearest future. We'll actually have more of a substantiated review of, yeah. of you know which parts of Solaris the DLC or, or the DLC and which are the previous yeah, DLCs that this new mods are, you know that kind of uh, stuff. I'm not really running too many mods. If you guys want this is a no mod run. Put that. I have one mod on. It's beautiful galaxy. It just okay. makes things a little bit prettier. Very sorry, I had forgotten from last week. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the next next thing in spaceports here to get cruisers because cruisers are good. And by like last cruisers. week, I meant Monday. 
<laughs> Monday's last week, huh? Well, <laughs> going to get political about it or no? Okay. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Okay, keep chunking. System surveyed. Not too much in it, but it's, you know, out over there. I'm noticing a lack of habitable worlds in this sort of band out here. We got one there. I mean, you, you kind of said that before, and then I told yeah. you, you know, Burrito's worth it. Burrito is worth it, because there's nothing else next to it. Because all you really need is, is just the center points yeah. for your, um, yep. your, your hub worlds. Mm hmm and I think if I settle ends Mars here, I'll be able to get enough uh, push down to claim these two as well. Or I can get uh, ends Mars to that one. Or I can go over here to end your phone. This is this tiny little thing that we haven't surveyed. It has a floating cloud in the system. Uh, so I'm going to wait and build a couple more ships to really make sure I can wreck this void cloud because I hate losing the void. So, a couple of destroyers. Yeah. Then give me that spaceport upgrade. Then I'm going to go around and start building a population. Actually, we're already colonizing Hands of Mars. I forgot about that. And again, we're on the, um... Oh, what's the name of the steel city? I'm, 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 this is Synthetic Dawn. Synthetic Dawn. Uh, we are robots, so we're robots. we have to build our, mm -hmm. our population, but it doesn't grow. Nope. There's no growing <clears> so about you, you got to plan this out. And that was a question I was having from before. So, yep. when you buy them, and this is because I'm just sort of mm -hmm. looking further back, they have base costs and then upkeep costs. Yes. They have 0.9 energy maintenance and they cost 100 minerals to produce. And with research, these things can be you can lowered. lowered. But uh, the they already part. have it lowered. Uh, it's not research, it is with traits and all these. Traits, and I believe we have a tradition for it too. Yeah, we do. So, I'm going to let that one go and just sort of look around to see where I want to go pop into. You guys are noticing that I'm not bothering with food. It's because we're robots and we don't need to eat. Even these pig guys are technically robots and don't need to eat because they're cybernetic. I, right. I don't ask dumb questions. And this is again mostly for the Twitch now as mm -hmm. opposed to uh, I suppose the guys who been following YouTube has probably been, you know, following this for quite a while. Yep. Um Grizzly just assumes you're on round two by now. You've 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 sat through, you've for sat a through while. everything else. <laughs> um, and a deep apology for all that it's sort of going up at once. Yep. Uh, our uploader my uploader shout out on me uh, the other night. Yeah, yeah like just, Wednesday night, I decided just to yeah. release everything. At once. Yeah, which it was supposed annoys to, me. to ease its way. Um, I was still going to be pretty dense because I wanted to have it all up. Yeah, between the uh, two. Between the two, but, you know, eh. it's the density level if you're up. I was expunging that one. Also, I, I gotta say, one thing I really do like about the DLC is they now have different AI voices with the um, advisor. Which I quite frankly like. We are currently running the Machine Intelligence Advisor. Oh, it did, mm -hmm. didn't have one for each of the uh, government types? Or this is for each trait. The um, government uh, traits you can uh, take. Um, ethics. Yeah, yeah, it didn't have that before. Now it does. Okay, cool. So, you know. You can give me a second. I'm cranking up. I don't like to blast it through my ears. Yeah, sir. You know, they, they say silly things. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, advisor voices are hilarious in this. Uh, I, I like the one we have, but, you know, some of the other ones are really cool. We have the Kinjan Confederacy over here. So Ooh. authoritarian, pacifist, materialist guys. They should be pushovers by the time they're Authoritarian pacifists. We had an other batch of authoritarian pacifists, too. Uh, these guys are authoritarian pacifists. Oh, the sub... Yes. Which I don't want to say subspecies, but they're like... The, the... They're a minor... Yeah. The minor player there. Uh, these guys, however... Oh, their sleep power is inferior? Oh, we can screw them up right now. They were in range, man. But the this... deck is better. Equivalent. Their naval capacity is superior. Which means that by the time you're over there, there you, 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 by the time I build enough wormholes to get there, they'd yeah. be better. But if I had, say, warp drive, I could get them. Yeah, right that's, now that's nice, but you, you currently aren't playing with warp drive. I so. know. This is why I don't play with warp drive because I would have already taken over two or three of these fuckers. <laughs> I'm trying to make the game last. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's for everyone's viewing pleasure. Yes. Yeah. And my own sadistic pleasure. Um, equally. 
probably such that I can understand what's going the game on. better and yeah. all of us can sort of Also understand. I like warp drive because it gives you less of a stall time when you enter a system. Uh oh. so with warp uh, you'll get there and your ships won't be able to do anything for a good couple of seconds. So people can run away from you. With okay. this, it's the lowest amount of cooldown. So it means can you also get see there. a warp ship coming from... Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, you will A, get a notification. System system. And B, it will, it will make glowy things and all sorts or of as, goodness. Or as... Um, we still make glowy things when appearing. It's just we make far it's less things and, and it's and milliseconds boom. and yeah. boom, boom, boom. Okay. So for to play in very aggressive, it's a very border quick, conflict. Is, yeah, yeah, quick border conflicts, not these big long wars. That doesn't really matter as much. I'm not building the uh, mining station here because I noticed there there can be glitches where if you build a station and you have something that's close to next to it, sometimes the UI will not differentiate between the two as well. There are mods to fix this. Uh, you're not running them, so you're not, I'm not running you're not them. With also, it. I'm pretty sure that they, they got fixed or, or patched recently. That's, I'm that's just not material it. or yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah. not risking it right now because I don't want to mess it up. Because that's too <laughs> good to uh, screw up. Because if that screws up, I'm, I'm going to curse so much on the stream that I uh, get de demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> After all that you've said so far. Yeah, I mean, you. literally, you have a whole other series on Blackfire where <laughs> every <laughs> other word out bastard. of you for about 40 minutes is bastard. bastard. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm describing bastards, man. That's what they are. Being <laughs> technical. Again. <laughs> not that the bastard is all that bad, but it was it's not. It's all the words you put in between the bastards. Uh, just because they're motherfucking bastards. Okay. Uh, a little bit more research because I... Found something nice in the frontier, which is why you want to keep that sort of thing going. Um, I'm going to pop me another one of these and a couple of those, and then go mess up that forty cloud. My research agreement ran out, so I'm now going to go back over here. Zero zero one guys. I'm going to try and get it back. This is actually a good point that I want to bring up from before. <laughs> um, this is about sort of how much build you need. To, to stay together with this um, uh, wormhole. Yeah. You had argued in round one yeah. that you know you didn't necessarily need so many construction ships. Yes. But with your movement type, you definitely need active construction ships to to stay back. And what I usually move. do for this is I infer these people in these pockets. What I've noticed okay. in this is there aren't actually people. In like this I thing, but, yeah. I was inferring there was an empire here, ah, so I wouldn't have to care because I can already get to the first couple of planets and skirmish them into the system. Got it. Because my range is enough that I could just get inside. That means I can get into their territory to get more war score. Because I don't got care it, about it. actually taking out the capital as much as I care about taking out my objectives. The first couple planets. Yeah. My objectives would be on these guys. Boom, boom, and boom. On those guys. Well, they got this damn uh, frontier outpost away, so it's just boom, which is a bit of a pain, but still, of course. And then um, once you're on those systems, you, you can... can generate war score much more quickly. Okay. Because if the war is fought in their territory and they're losing, you get much higher war scores, on much lesser victory. I was about to bring over our uh, our HOI uh, yeah. War One <laughs> Belgian campaign that you uh, was silly, but. <laughs> We, we didn't record We didn't so, record yeah. that because I was not Shame. sure what we were doing. Shame. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> funny. Uh, something like that will probably eventually hit. Uh, that's our first Corvette. So, so, so you see, Corvettes take practically no time. Uh, just because there's yeah, tiny Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a tiny one. Yeah, and we have the things for it. So Damn. there we go. Boom. We have our ships. We're at 2,000. This is only 600. We should blow it hard. Uh, that being said, it is a entity known as a Void Cloud, which means if we got that little bit of a research to get Void Cloud Buster, which I think we did. Yeah, we did. It's really good. Uh, we have plus 10% damage to them. Mm. It's a thing that triggers when you first encounter them. I highly recommend it because these guys are pains in the ass to deal with. Uh, because they have... And you're not just going to deal with the first one you see. It's, no, it's, there's yeah. piles of them. They're everywhere, and it's annoying. I'm a little over my fleet capacity right now, but I infer that... Uh, How do you gain the fleet capacity? Uh, it gains slowly over time, and also there's science for it. 
Okay. In society. It's the only reason we'll ever use societal research. Because we're robots. So I'm going to go deal with that. See, it's a big glowy cloud. Uh, if we actually look at it. Uh, it used to be that you'd bring up your sh ship details uh, for void oh. clouds and things. Uh, but they appear to have actually fixed that. But, you know, you see we're, we're smacking into a cloud here. It's dealing... Um, it deals energy damage, we're dealing concussive damage. Uh, and they tend to have a, a lot of, uh, if you look over here, they have a lot of hull points. Which basically means that your engagements with these guys are going to last a little bit longer than just 600 fleet power, which suggests. Uh, and all your armor reducing uh, mm -hmm. energy that you had from before isn't really going to have an impact on them. Not really. But we still. Okay. Blasted the sucker quickly because we took that that tech. Um, now we're gonna go park a science ship in through here and okay, figure and out how it works, orders. and then we're gonna survey the system. Okay. Or if I clicked it the other way around, I could have control shifted and changed the priority. But I clicked it the right way around this time. And then, and now I'm gonna. <clears throat> now, the reason why I'm not about to just enter into Hull's Maw right here is because it has 4,000 fleet power in there. That's a Leviathan, probably, or something next to a Leviathan. Is that, that in a specialized with. DLC? Yep, or? it has its own DLC okay. uh, for big, bad, nasty things. So it isn't just that we're in the Synthetic Dawn. It's like it's, you, there's you, a have, whole you have all the buttons. And I have some... Synthetic Dawn. I have Utopia. I have... Well, I don't have the platinoids, but I do have the special spider guys, and I have I have everything pretty much except okay. for the plants, because I didn't think that being beaten by broccoli was worth my time. <clears throat> Man, you got to team up a little bit of fungus, a little bit of broccoli. I like fungus. Fungus is awesome. I made a uh, special race, which is a bunch of slavers that are fungus. They look like the big stone mushroom. Yeah, they're awesome. Well. Okay, that's just going to give me this next outpost up here, such that I can go around and potentially flank these guys. But something tells me there's going to be an empire here. Just always does. So what is analyzing this? the cloud gives me okay, uh, plus ten percent progress towards cloud-like conduits, which give you. Um, I think that's an energy thing. So these are particular research. Yeah. Okay, it also right. gives you a couple of points. So this is whenever you uh, look over oh, the wreckage. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. yeah, it's just now we're looking over a cloud wreckage. So we get Would you be able to look over wreckage from your enemies? Yeah, or... okay. it's a standard thing. I and think I remember it's, it's just... It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I got you. But you see, we've already ticked up the 37, the 36. We'll get the 38 quickly. Okay. It's just you were a little hot on the trigger. For I that. was a little hot on the trigger. Also, I felt like I needed the fleet power because it used to be the void cloud sucked. They must have nerfed them. That or I'm particularly uh, right. You, you I'm particularly uh, railgun. I have a lot of railguns. Their shields and things are useless. Um, this high power system, you don't yeah. you you unit 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 or that unit? One. yeah unit down here yeah yeah that that might it's be not bad considering too, um... it's in a couple of parts. That was not bad. To, it's to... not worth a frontier outpost though. A no, no, to, be... to colonize and put a, um, a wormhole through and... Um, we don't have any habitable worlds here to colonize. Uh, we still need an atmosphere, apparently. I, I think it's something that should I keep fix. having this mistake. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, I, I need a little planet thingy like that to actually colonize. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm a robot. I should exist in the... Well, open no, I space, mean... Space, but maybe, I, maybe I'm not a good robot. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know, man. Okay, looking at Ensmar's Prime here, just for a second, such that I make sure we got everything going. I'm going to build again some of these basic ground things, just to make sure my plants are actually doing what I think they're doing. And as you see here, why mm -hmm. you build up your population on planets is because you can upgrade your, your administrative buildings, which give you way better stuff. More energy, one unit, quite good. And adjacencies. That's going to be very useful. And then it will allow you to upgrade all the under it. Alright, alright. As I go to Sun's Lab there. Good. I'm just doing this because I've got a buttload of minerals right now. I would usually be building fleet power, but we're at. Yeah, so you want to sit around here and sort of. Fiddle and poke. Fiddle and poke and do the rest of that sort of stuff. Uh, this so is what this happens is... to Lars's. 
Do we just let you sort of end up the the, the, the video like this? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll say you know a couple end end notey mm -hmm. uh, messages. Right, sure. Um, this is probably going to be is the seven more Twitch episodes. Go. You think are coming out of, out of the this round?